Well, hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we'll be talking about Bernice. Because I know right now she's a king getting all the spotlight and attention of how absurdly powerful she is. But Bernice is like no pushover either because for one, she's in the anomaly path and, and plus the amount of synergy she's gonna be having with the fire element and they're soon to be changed to all the ultimate like Bernice is looking to be a very powerful character if you decide to go for her or you saw the old animation how she's so caked up like no one judge in here wink wink all right so talking about like Bernie's like basic attacks like it's very flashy and have a lot of like momentum to it and very quick to fill up the anomaly bar and especially go for like her X special is how like Bernice is gonna fill up the anomaly bar when using the X special she can alternate between both her flamethrowers to deal like higher amount of fire damage and build up the anomaly bar and once build up enough she'll use both of them and Looks pretty nimble actually because the fact that when she in that stage she looks pretty like nimble and fluent the way she can like seamlessly like dodge like attack while she holding down like her flame throwers. But now I'll talk about the two like more interesting parts of a kid being her afterburn effect. And from the looks of it to get the afterburn effect you just need to deal enough like damage with Bernice with a flame thrower to trigger it. And once you're in the Malak, Malak, the Malak Jesus Christ, the Molotov's got fail state freaking accent. What it basically is, is additional fire damage applied to the enemy that her and her allies can attack. Which are actually really good because it has a lot of synergy with the 4 piece fire set so you can keep the uptime on it because you need to burn the enemies and that just helps. With someone like Soldier 11, which you would be pairing up with Bernice if you have the two of them, it is really good for Soldier 11. And lastly about Bernie's ultimate, that ultimate could have like so much potential because when you use it, obviously you see that really nice animation. And then of course she attack, but then she launches herself in the air and use both her slave throws to do big damage while, while she up in the air using her flame throw. She being up the air counts her animation so you can animation cancel to it to another character and deal damage with the character you swap while burning its ultimate till active. Which well, does sound good, but the problem is since you only have one ultimate, the fact that you won't really be using that so that kind of a waste because you wouldn't use Bernie's ultimate other than your soldier 11 ultimate or any of your DPS ultimate. So for now, it kind of eh. For now at least, because the dev did say they're going to make it so where everyone in your party get their own ultimate instead of sharing one. But either I forgot when they say it'll be added or they say going to add it in the near future. So we have to wait a bit. So until then, it will be kind of a liability or not even worth considering. But when each character get their own ultimate, Ultimate, then Bernie's ultimate will get a lot of value. Hell, a lot of character ultimate will get a lot of value when the chains come. And since we get to play with she, like, it kind of safe to say, like, she kind of had a similar value to like Jane Dow. But for fire, because you use Bernie's to help, like, trigger the anomaly effect or something like Soldier 11. She also has the possibility of playing she as a normally DPS. Like, the anomaly part they did is really strong because of the fact that they can do, like, absurd amount of damage for just building on normally proficiency, on normally mastery, and some attack. And then tack on the fact that we're getting a free copy of lucy if you do the event like if you like lucy and you love using fire characters like this is a no-brainer if you don't plan using any fire character then her value can definitely be less and like you can definitely afford like to skip her for like the upcoming 1.3 character but kind of like if you want the apollo or you're like a fire fiend or you just like her because she's pretty and she's an arsonist <laughs> like me personally i'm not sure yet i'm still on the fence if i want to pull on a banner skip on she for miyabi whenever she comes around because i fully know i'm skipping 1.3 but i might possibly not sure on that i might but i'm not sure but you guys let me know if you guys going for bernie's or you're skipping her do let me know in the comment section but anyways yeah that's it so guys thanks for watching i do appreciate you for sure i have a discord server down below if you want to join it if you want to talk to me or anyone in my community but with all that said, take care, love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.